Good morning, everyone. We are Power to User. We bring clean, reliable power to remote communities and remote installations. And we have the potential to spark an impressive cycle of improvements on the economical and social side to remote communities. So we are here today to offer you the opportunity to be part of that change together with us by investing in our pilot project. So first, who are we exactly? Why us? Well, providing power that's affordable to remote communities in small projects has proved to be a high, huge challenge. That's because small projects have high related fixed costs. So we have been working for four months on this project and before submitting our proposal last summer, to be completely honest with you, we did not know anything about this industry. We've seeked advice from the best industry experts back in Canada for support, for help, to design the best solution for remote communities that would deliver power that's affordable, reliable, and secure with low emissions, obviously, because our solution is clean, renewable solution. All right. So, our team here, that's Power to Users team, and we combine a diverse experience in sustainable, sustainability consulting with Antoine, project management, uh, notably in the electricity market with Snow, and for myself in research and development. On top of that, uh, Kevin, Antoine, and I have, worked, have extensive experience working in developing partnerships uh, abroad in business development, and this is essential for our project. Also, one thing to mention, we have been knowing each other pretty well uh, now for over a year, and we've been working together on different projects. We know each other pretty well. Uh, we are an agile team, and we can uh, make things move pretty quickly. So I was talking about our experience. I'm going to go through that. Uh, I've already uh, mentioned that. So, like I've mentioned, our diverse experience is key in our business proposal. That will enable us to deliver power that's affordable, power that's reliable, while creating job here in Queensland and Australia today with the required operation and maintenance for our different projects. And it's also aligned with the government of Queensland and Australia's sustainable development goals. But what is the challenge exactly? Why am I telling you all of that? The challenge right now, in one word, is DIESO. DIESO, actually, remote communities and remote installations right now rely on DIESO to power to uh, have the their supply of electricity. Basically, problem with DIESO is it's is it's expensive, as it has in most cases. Obviously, as it as it's for remote communities. It has to be carried from far away, so it's expensive. It's unreliable because it's dependent on diesel price fluctuations, and in many cases, it, it has to be important. And also, obviously, it has uh, carbon emissions, high carbon emissions. So our solution to solve this problem is to combine different generating sources technology and store, storage technologies. So basically we're integrating the best technologies that were designed in a way that they're perfectly suited for small microgrids. They are fit for our solution. And key here is integration. Integration enables us to provide an affordable solution that's reliable and also that can be implemented tomorrow or today even. So you must be wondering right now, what are these technologies? How are they enabling us to provide an all-in-one solution for microgrids, I forgot to mention, for up to 500 kilowatt? These are our target market for small microgrids. How are we bringing reliability up? And how are we bringing costs down? My colleague Antoine will tell you more about these technologies. So I'm happy to introduce you uh, the technology that part of uh, our uh, solution, our microgrid. So uh, before going further, I'm happy to announce that we met each president of each company. They believe in our project and they uh, give us a letter of intent in order to collaborate, to collaborate with them if we uh, with the 2017 
GBC uh, font price. Uh, if you want to uh, have a look at the appendix A to G, you will uh, see all of uh, those letters of uh, and then. Our first uh, technology is uh, AOCycle, um, <coughs> which have the lowest uh, maintenance cost and uh, the best LCOE of their <coughs> uh, categories. And they are able to uh, overcome a um, pro problem that uh, normally a small uh, turbine winds uh, face. Our second technology is uh, Alien uh, Photovoltaic Model. Uh, they have the highest efficiency uh, model crystalline uh, solar model uh, in uh, the market and uh, they uh, have a long uh, life um, guarantee uh, that is really interesting uh, in the long time uh, run program. Uh, the third technology is the adaptive balance uh, power flywheel. Uh, the contact view magnetic uh, bearing uh, and the ultra height vacuum enable us to uh, bring security and reliability in uh, our uh, microphone when we will face uh, power outrage. Um, so uh, I'm happy to introduce you uh, the uh, partnership that we have with uh, E-Canyon uh, lithium ion uh, battery. Their uh, innovative uh, design including a uh, pattern and um, have a bending model and a design uh, for uh, cooling. They uh, enable us to support uh, up to uh, 150 uh, ohms and they can operate safely between uh, minus uh, 20 Celsius degrees and up to uh, 60 uh, Celsius uh, degrees. And uh, the battery will uh, enable us to storage all the electricity if we have an uh, environment uh, constraint condition. Then we have the Shipstone Corporation that uh, enable us to having a converter that uh, give us uh, a, sorry, a key solution in order to um, having uh, not be, not be uh, I will hold it for five seconds. Yeah, yeah, so it's a turnkey solution that I want to customize each project. Then. Uh, we, are, we will be able to decrease our, dependen our dependency to um, specify uh, workforce and then we will be able to uh, scale up more quickly. And finally, the Sigma Energy Storage uh, Batteries. It's more when we'll be able to scale up to uh, a bigger uh, microgrid, then we will uh, having a partnership with a company that uh, wins uh, many awards for the quality of their batteries and then uh, we will be able to uh, scale up more quickly uh, as we already have partnership for a uh, bigger microgrid. So uh, you must be wondering uh, how unique is our solution. I will let Simon uh, continue with it. Thanks, Marco. What is our unique solution? It is to provide, it is to involve each specialized provider in each of this technology in a single project. The key to reliable and cost-effective electricity supply will come from the integration of all these techno different technologies. Right now, there are no major player who is doing this, and that's what we create. Uh, that's what we create. We create an unprecedented synergy between more than six technology providers developing a non match knowledge with a go-to-market strategy of build, operate, and own with a mix of power purchasing agreement. Our solution also resolved the major problem raised by Alan Finkel Blueprint. We, we provide a secure energy source which is reliable because we use smart, smart energy storage with battery <coughs> flywheel we lower carbon emission because we use renewable power production and we lower electricity costs because we use the lastest efficient technology in each of their, in each of their domains. Now, to make it happen, we need a solid business model. We base our, our business model on three key points. The first one is build, own, operate, mixed with a power purchase agreement, which we're going to secure the cash flow for the business, gonna secure the customer price, and gonna secure 
the investor, the investment of the investor. In addition, the power purchase agreement uh, adds flexibility to the project and the ability to monetize tax incentive. The second pillar is provider leasing agreement, which balance usage and costs and increase company value. And the third one is a turnkey solution, which minimizes the risk for the customer and the owner and include the maintenance for the lifetime of the project within peace of mind for the owner and customer. Thank you, sir. Scaling is developed for any business to scale in place. That's where we develop a two axis scaling process that perfectly seems to our business model. First, we have the vertical axis where we fully control the capacity segment we're working on. Then we have the horizontal process where we move to a larger capacity upgrade solution with bigger revenue and profit margin. Here we have the vertical access worker. First, we find the best solution that delivers the lowest LCOE on the market for the segment we're working on. We then find the best partners to bring alive the solution. We design a complete pilot project, we implement it, and we learn from it. We repeat the process, the process three, four, and five until we fully master the segment we're working on. The vertical process is a part of the horizontal scaling workflow. The horizontal, in the horizontal scaling workflow, we first find the most optimized segment that is worth working on in terms of capacity. We then develop it and learn it in the vertical process, and then we're ready to export it and move to the next segment. After many in-depth analysis of multiple reports, we found that the most challenging segment to be working on is also the most rewarding one. The segment with a capacity under 500 kilowatts uh, of capacity. To make sure that we fully master the segment capacity, we work toward delivering uh, projects up to five years, stopping incremental numbers, starting with year two with two pilot projects, moving to year five with up to 16 projects. For a total of 31 upgrade solution, bringing revenue for each for over a 25 year span time period. Afterwards, we will be ready to move to the next capacity segment. Talking about exportation, this means that we have a home market. Here it is Australia. Australia has all the characteristics needed to host many upgrade solutions like ours. In fact, Australia has the potential to transition 1.2 gigawatt of energy to a renewable energy. A solution like ours is perfect for scaling outside Australia. I could tell you many country names, for example, that would be stable for a solution, like sub saharan countries, India, Indonesia. In fact, globally, the market value for a solution is expected to grow to 5 billion in 2030. Like we said in the beginning of, of our speech, 400 gigawatts of energy globally is still produced by diesel generators, out of which 250 is yet to be transitioned to either an average solution or just replace it. To make this come alive, we are standing here today because we want to build a 200 kilowatt pilot project to confirm the full potential of our solution. And we even want to do it here in Queensland. A huge process like this, a huge pilot project like this, requires a massive project planning to ensure the success of it. We have the full pilot project process inside our business case proposal. But I want to point out some facts. We have already started working on some key points for the pilot initiation and the pilot planning, and also started working with some partners. A project management for such a huge proposal is not only the key to success, but it's also required to improve the success of, su of such a huge project. Talking of success, let's move toward the financial part 
upper proposal. Our investor lead launching a non-precedent off-grid project will deplete 25 million in minimal funding, which is roughly 50% of all the total cost of the project with 1.8 million. The difference is due to the provider leasing agreement that we're going to make with the solar panel, the wind turbine, and the batteries. And this is why today we want 500,000 for financing the project and the 350,000, as you probably seen on our project proposal, we're going to go and find it with our partners easily that we mentioned on the, in the proposal. Now let's take a look at the financial. First of all, we have made, we have auditing all our financial by a professional who works for Accuracy Consulting in Canada before the challenge and during the lockdown. We got a 15 years payback for all of our assets, 1.8 million in business valuation with the method of discounted cash flow and 22% of weighted average cost on, cap, on capital, which is roughly the original investment for investor. Uh, the last one, we think that the 25 years we have used in the discounted cash flow for the amortization represent a lower lifetime of all of our asset, all of our asset. From the financial, we have used the least, the least favorable project, the 200 kilowatts, since we use the 200 kilowatts. The 31 project that we forecast was on 200 kilowatts too, with the list of technology we have mentioned before and all the quantity we need to make the project happen. <clears throat> the message here is that most of our projects are going to be in the remote community of Queensland. In the remote community of Queensland, in the remote community of Queensland, <laughs> we're going to bring sustainable job with operation and maintenance. That's <clears throat> that's the first one. Sustainable uh, minim minimization of carbon carbon emission. That's the second one. And uh, a return on investment for investor, that's the third one. It's a win-win-win solution that we propose you today. All right. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Time for a quick wrap-up. My name is Kevin. I'm here along with my longtime colleague, Simon, Felix, and Antoine. Together, we're a power to user. We want to bring a new option to thousands of remotes of communities and installations across the globe. An option in which there is a choice to not rely on diesel produced energy. We want to build a 200 kilowatt pilot project. This is why we're here today. And the only thing that we require to move forward is a $500 in investment. An investment that could be a game changer in delivering reliable, profitable, and renewable energy. Thanks.